If you have ulnar nerve irritation here, then the good news is that physical therapy has been shown to have a 90% success rate within two to three months. Hello, my name is Daniel Lawrence. Welcome to the Physio Channel. In this self-help video, I'm gonna show you how you can resolve your ulnar nerve issue without the need for surgery. So the problem that we're solving here is ulnar nerve irritation, which often occurs at the elbow as the nerve passes through a tunnel. This tunnel is called the cubital tunnel, and as the nerve passes through, it has less space and can become compressed. Especially if you hold your elbow in flexed positions for long periods of time, which you may be doing, for example, when you're on your phone, or without realizing it, when you're asleep at night. So in this video, I'll show you the best solutions for cubital tunnel syndrome, which is ulnar nerve irritation at the elbow. The other causes can be anything which narrows this cubital tunnel space, which could be dislocations, arthritis, previous fractures, and other previous elbow injuries. Now you may be experiencing common symptoms, which include pins and needles and tingling in your little and ring finger, tenderness over the ulnar nerve at the elbow, and a general aching from the elbow to the forearm and possibly into the hand. In more severe cases, you may experience some clawing of the little and ring finger as the nerve irritation starts to affect the muscles in the hand, so those two fingers can end up flexing. In addition to this, the outer part of your hand and further down your forearm may also become numb. Here on the screen is a grading system which grades the severity of the condition based on your symptoms. So I'll put it on the full screen here and if you want to have a read and compare it to your symptoms, then pause the video now before we move on. There are also some physical tests you can do to help you diagnose cubital tunnel syndrome and I'll link these videos at the end and in the description for you as well. We're going to be making some more videos on this condition and the diagnosis, so if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're finding this information helpful, or you do, don't forget to hit the like button. Now, we're gonna look at treatments and solutions. Because the issue is a nerve compression in the cubital tunnel at the elbow, where the ulnar nerve passes through, the compression can be caused by, if you remember, continued or excess flexion of the elbow it can also be caused by too much or permanent extension of the elbow. The best position for opening up the cubital tunnel and taking the pressure off the ulnar nerve is to hold the elbow at 45 degrees. So without measuring it, that's gonna be halfway between 90 degrees and full extension. Halfway between the two would be a good resting position for your elbow. So although that's simple advice, it can be difficult and impractical to achieve. If you imagine if you're trying to pick something up, uh, you can't move your elbow, or at least you're trying not to, it's very difficult to achieve that. Or if somebody phones you very quickly, you're gonna be back to flexing the elbow again. So here's what you need. A cubital tunnel splint, which allows you to set the angle of the elbow to make sure that you rest the elbow at 45 degrees, so long periods of time at night or during the day and this will help the condition to settle down. Now I'll put a link in the description for this particular product, but when you buy one, whether it's this one or something similar, what you're looking for is an adjustable metal bar which allows you to set the angle of the elbow. So I'm gonna take this and bend that to around about 45 degrees, pop that back in the elbow support again. So there we go, a fairly simple thing to fit. Initially, you could just try wearing this at night because that would be a bit less impractical than wearing it during the day. However, if wearing it at night is not enough and the symptoms don't settle down, then you will need to consider wearing it for periods of time during the day as well. The idea, of course, is to keep that tunnel open, to take the pressure off the nerve and to let the nerve settle down and reduce its sensitivity. However, if you are wearing this for long periods of time during the day, make sure you do this. At least twice a day, take the elbow brace off and perform six elbow and nerve mobilizations for the ulnar nerve. Here's the first one you can do. Imagine you're holding a tray, turn your hand around to face your head, bring your hand by the side of your head, and as you do that, let your head stretch away from your hand, and then stretch your arm out whilst at the same time taking your head towards your hand, okay? Bring it back, 
hand by the side of your head next to your ear like your hand is a phone. And repeat six times to help mobilize the elbow and also to help mobilize the nerve. Those movements are called nerve mobilizations or nerve glides because they encourage the nerve, including the ulnar nerve, to move and glide, especially through that tunnel at the elbow. Another nerve mobilization you can do is to make the OK sign like this and then flip round as if you're making a monocle and then back down, stretch your arm back behind you and then back up and make the monocle. You can do that on both sides if you want to, to mobilize both, but that's a classic ulnar nerve mobilization there. So a couple of ones you can do, arm out, let the head follow the hand, bring it back, hand next to your ear, let your head flex away and repeat and the monocle, bring it up there and back down. There's a couple of nerve mobilizations. You can do one or both of those. Don't do them if they cause significant irritation or if one of them does, just do the other one. But the idea is just to move the elbow, move the nerves and get a bit of that nerve gliding to make sure you don't get any unnecessary adhesions from holding your arm in a fixed position for too long. It's important to balance that immobilization to help the nerves settle down with mobilization to make sure the tissues are still kept mobile and moving. Now it may also help to massage and try and release some of the muscles along the course of the ulna nerve. So there are the muscles here in the forearm. There's a particular muscle I'll show on the screen here called the flexor carpi ulnaris. I'll show you how to massage that one. And there's the triceps muscle that you've probably heard of before. So to massage those, you could simply use your other hand. If you find your ulna coming down off the little finger side down the forearm there, you'll feel the edge of the bone on your forearm, that's your ulna. Just come around from that and that's where you'll feel the flexor carpi ulnaris. So you can massage that and knead that a little bit with your other hand, which is okay, but sometimes a little bit difficult to achieve. But here's a couple of other options. You can take a massage ball, or if you don't have one, you can use something similar, which is a firm ball about this size, a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball might do, possibly even a golf ball, although you might find that a bit too hard. Place the ball on the bottom of the forearm there, and then use the weight of your arm to roll the ball up your forearm and back down again. If you find any tender points that feel like tight muscles, then you can stop there, apply a little bit more sustained pressure, or do some small oscillations just to mobilize those points there. When you're doing this, you don't want to go directly over the ulnar nerve. You'll know if you do, because it will hurt and it may also cause some of those um, pain sensations and pins and needles that you've been getting into your hand and finger. So if you feel the ulnar nerve is being compressed, then stop and move the ball to a different location. So that's the massage with the ball. It's a little bit easier to achieve than trying to use your other hand. You can also try and use the ball on the triceps as well, although for that one I prefer to use a small roller. Popping the elbow on there, and rolling that up towards the armpit. Once again, make sure you don't squash that ulnar nerve. You know if you do because it will hurt and give you some of those nerve symptoms like the pins and needles and referred pain up into the forearm and hand. So gently roll over the tricep there. Try and release any tension. Find any particular sore spots in the muscle, pause there and do a bit more focused work over that area. Don't do too much of this, probably 60 seconds for each part is more than enough and uh, twice a day again would be more than enough. Um, if you do too much, you might end up, as I say, irritating the nerve. It may also help to reduce tension around the neck and shoulder and I've got those techniques shown in this video here. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.